Hi, right, welcome to the Airbus A330-200. I'm sorry for the, the delay. Um, some people have been waiting for this for a while. Um, I haven't had much time to make this tutorial or start the tutorial. I've been a little busy lately. Um, but I'll get it started here. And hopefully it won't take me that long to finish it. But this will probably have a little more parts to it as I'm going to show the wing structure as well in this in this um, series so we'll have a little more more parts to it so it might take a little longer to finish the whole plane and before I start also a little disclaimer um, I'm not the best um, speaker in making these tutorials I'll try to do it as best as I can to explain the parts and what I'm doing with it um, some people have found it hard and confusing though um, I apologize beforehand but I'll try to do do as good of a job as I can um, but yeah I'm not the best um, speaker in this so bear with me and so let's start here we'll start at the front of the aircraft so from here you want to go seven blocks total off the ground so you go one two three four five six and seven so this block here is a seven block off the ground and then you want to place one block above it and then go three blocks wide on each side so it will be seven blocks total wide and from here you want to go the next row two blocks wide the next row is one block and again one block then the next row you go two blocks up the next row here will be seven blocks total up and the next row in you want to go two blocks up and again one block one block and the next row here two blocks wide and then the top row is seven blocks wide and on the left side you just copy what you did on the right side inversely of course and that will give you the hull of the aircraft and so we go to the side view and so from the top you want to start from the middle block here so go from the middle block and you want to go 12, 12 blocks out to here so this is the 12th block from that point and from here you want to go down a row and 4 blocks out then the next row is 3 blocks out the next row here is 2 blocks out and again the last row is 2 blocks out here and from here I put glass blocks one underneath this block here and the second row of glass one out from this row like this as you can see and this is the um, glass cockpit um, for the plane and so it's three blocks wide as you can see so again you just put one block on each side so it's three three wide here and then you want to go three blocks back diagonally, diagonally and then the last row here it will be two blocks wide and for the second row of glass it's the same same thing basically three blocks wide and then three blocks diagonally and then the, the row is three blocks wide here um, and that will give you the look for the cockpit glass and again the left side here obviously is the same as the opposite side you just copy it in the opposite direction and so let's continue down to the nose so from here you want to go two blocks out the next row two blocks out and the next row here is just one block out and then three blocks down like this and so the next row below you want to go one block one block here and then the next row is two blocks wide the next row is two blocks wide the next row here is three blocks wide and the next one is four blocks wide the next one again is four blocks wide and then this last row is the bottom of the aircraft and that will give you the side view um, for the aircraft and so let's go from the top view here so from the tip of the nose you want to go one row back like this and then from this row here you want to go two blocks wide the next row two blocks wide and the next row here again is two blocks wide and the next row will be three blocks here the next row is four blocks 
and again four blocks and four blocks again and the last row here is five blocks and then this will be the side of the aircraft and so that will give you the nose um, nose cone portion of the aircraft and so we go out here you can see the whole um, outline for the body of the aircraft you also see the pink blocks on the top of the aircraft um, I use the blocks those pink blocks to denote every 25 um, every 25 blocks along the aircraft and for those who don't know I build it one block per one feet in real life so each one is 25 blocks or 25 feet of the plane I do that just to know how long I am on each section of the aircraft so I don't have to count all the time and some of you also may notice this break on the bottom of the aircraft here the back end of the plane is actually a little taller off the ground than the front part of the plane that's why I have this one row higher on the bottom here the back half is taller than the front half um, this part will also be hidden by the wings and the um, fuselage so this actually won't be visible when the plane is done but if anybody noticed it that's the reason I have it like that and so we'll go to this part here also I should clarify I when I count I count from the tip of the nose so the tip of the nose is one block or the first block so from this this row here I have this block going straight up this is 135 blocks from the tip so when it's when I count like like this at 135 blocks that's from the tip of the nose cone to the point I, I am at I always count from the tip of the nose and I count backwards so this will be 100 at the 135th block this is where the bottom of the aircraft starts to curve back up to the tip of the tail and that's where it starts the 135th block here and we go to the back of the tail the whole plane is 188 blocks long or it's actually a little longer but the body of the aircraft is 188 blocks total length here so this block here is at the 186 block at the top of the aircraft and then you want to go one one down and then two blocks out to 188 and the tip of the tail comes down a little at the at the very end and it's almost turning light so uh, let, let me explain this a little before I want to turn it back to the daytime I hate building at night um, so again this is 188 blocks uh, from the tip of the nose cone to the back of the tail here so at this part you want to go three blocks down like this and then on the bottom you want to go two blocks wide and the next row here will be four blocks, four blocks wide. Okay, so I'm just checking the sun. I want to. I hate building at night, as it. I don't know. To me, it's irritating. It's hard to see. Let me go. Let me go to the bed and take a nap and turn it to the daytime before I start the bottom of the plane there. There you go. Fly all the way back to the tail end. So again, you want to come back here to the 188 block, and from here it's three blocks down, and then on the underside here you want to go two blocks wide, and this row is four blocks wide, and from here you go in f um, three blocks wide um, five times. So here you see this next row here is three blocks. This is three blocks wide, three blocks wide, this is three blocks wide, and again three blocks wide. So this three block pattern, you do it five times. And then from here, the next row will be four blocks. Um, and again, four blocks here. The next row again, four blocks. The next row again, it's four blocks. And the next row here, this one will be five blocks total wide. Then the next row here is five blocks. And the last row here is six blocks, and this row is the bottom of the aircraft. And that will give you the outline 
um, for the A330. Uh, let me zoom out. So you can see the whole whole outline for the plane. And so this is what it looks like looks like without you know without it filled in. But this will give you the basic shape to start with. And that will do it for this first episode. Um, the next one I'll show the filling in portion for the nose cone. And we'll start from there. Um, so I'll say goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next one.